Hi, today I'm going to be talking about perseverance, going until and never giving up, right now on the front. Hey, good afternoon and thank you for joining me today on The Front. My name is Mike Phillips. As always, if you'd like to participate in the discussion, if you're joining me on one of the video versions, just comment down below. I would sure love to hear what you have to say or see what you have to say, I guess. If you're tuning in on the podcast, thank you so much. You can always check me out on Google Play and on iTunes. So today's theme is never give up. And my inspiration is brought to you today by Mr. Russellus, or lovingly called Mr. Russ. Uh, he's our kickboxing coach, and, and uh, my daughter does some, some tumbling and gymnastics with him at the gym. And sometimes inspiration just happens. As I was considering my, my conversation, my talk today, this is one of those things that hit me this morning in kickboxing like a ton of bricks. And I was like, there it is. That's what I'm going to talk about is never giving up. And I, I take kickboxing on Wednesday, so let me let me lay the the groundwork a little bit for you, if I may. Uh, my wife and I together we take kickboxing on Wednesdays, and Mr. Russ has us run drills both on the heavy bag and then off the heavy bag. You're doing calisthenics, so you're a minute on the bag, punch, 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 kick, 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 elbows, knees, the whole the whole deal, and then you're a minute off the bag, push ups, sit ups, calisthenics, just working out, breathing hard, and, and getting, uh, getting your workout on. There's not, a, there's not a smooth way to talk about it. So uh, you go for a minute on and then a minute off. And so it occurred to me this morning in business and in life, oftentimes a minute can go by so quickly. It, it's just the blink of an eye. One minute just zips by and we often, people, will take it for granted. And we go, wow, it was just, you know, a minute. We have, you know, however more many minutes in, in the day, the week, the month, the year, and so forth. And so sometimes those minutes can feel just insignificant. You know, a minute adds up, five minutes add up, an hour, and that stuff goes by before you even realize. And so the difference is during a workout drill like this, when you're doing the, the bag for a minute and then working out for a minute and then the bag for a minute and then calisthenics for a minute and then the bag for a minute, it, that starts to that minute turns into an absolute eternity. You realize how long a minute actually is. You are counting 60 seconds when you're doing a workout like this. You're sweating, breathing hard, you start to get in pain, the shakes. And if you want to know your your body's limits just to constantly keep going for that minute and we do that for for 60 minutes in in kickboxing and it's a lot of fun and it's worth it. At the end of the day, you can leave feeling totally accomplished and invigorated and thrilled. And the fact that there is someone like Mr. Russ in there that is, Russless is just so, he is such a good coach and a good leader and an inspiration and a good man. And so it's one of those things. He Russ was absolutely on fire this morning, in my opinion. Of course, as we know, I always share my opinions here. And so in my opinion, he was just absolutely on fire. And this is where the impactful statement came in. We're going, and I think I'm about, uh, my wife and I are about 15, 20 minutes into class. And it, it's just starting to the point that heart rate's up and uh, sweating and starting to feel it. And I'm going, oh man, okay, here, here we go. The, I'm in class. And uh, it's just about that point you're, you're ready to give in. And Russ yells, and I have my notes here as always, says, don't give up. Never give up. When you stop, you only get good at one thing, and that's giving up. So keep going. <laughs> so that struck a chord with me this morning. I was like, there it is. Oh, it came in, and I thought, man, that is the conversation I need to have because it's a conversation that that struck me. It was a conversation that then started to go in my heart and in my head, and I thought that that's my inspiration for the day. So thank you, Russ, for that. And it, it, it's at the point that I'm just about ready to fall over, and he says, don't give up. That's the only thing you'll get good at if you stop. And just let that th sink in for a minute. So now what? Right? You're hot. You're sweating. It's painful. You're shaking. 
But that single simple statement, that hit me. That, that was my moment this morning. And it hit me hard. It pushed me for the next 40 minutes. Like I said, we're only 15, 20 minutes into class at that point. And it's like, all right, here we go. When you've got someone that is an amazing leader like that, that you know will step in behind you and cheerlead for you, to me, it pushes you that much harder. Somebody that will, that you know they can accomplish the task. You know that 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 he's capable of doing that and, and he's over there being the cheerleader saying, hey, you got it, right? So as is life, there are times that you feel beaten, low energy. Maybe you weren't ready for the life lesson that you just got served today. And you may not even be ready for it. You just go, oh my goodness, man. You just want to wipe the sweat from your brow and, and throw in the towel. It, here's the thing though. You've got to do it. Persevere. Pursue. Go until. That's when you've got to never give up. You just keep going. And so, sometimes we're fortunate to have someone like that. A friend, a family member, a colleague like a Russ, <laughs> that can whisper, he, he just, there are people like that that just whisper the fire back in your ear, and they just say, never give up, keep going, you've got this. And so when they whisper that fire to you, that it's, it's like a switch, that it's like, okay, I do got this, I can pull this off, and thank you for believing in me. Sometimes you just need that extra little statement. And sometimes you have to be the fire. Sometimes it's got to be you. You got to be the fire for somebody else. You got to be the fire for yourself. You've got to help. Yeah, and you just got to whisper in your own ear keep going. You got this. Never give up. Yeah, I've said it a lot today. You know why? That's a theme. So let, let me go back to the minute drills here for a second. When we're talking about the minute drills and the value of a minute and what goes into a minute, when, when myself or my wife or many of the people in our class are off the bag, right? That's when you're doing those calisthenics and the push-ups, right? Try doing push-ups for a minute, man. That, that is a long time to do push-ups. Again, my opinion, <laughs> I'm entitled to it. Those first 10 seconds, you actually look like you know what you're doing. You're going to carry it through, man. Hey, I got this. I can nail this for a minute. Then, at least for myself, and I can only speak from my experience, the next 20 seconds, you realize it's going to take real work. You go, okay, well, and that that's not the only minute. There are other minutes coming up behind that one. And that next 20 seconds, it's like, whoa, I got to, this is the real deal. I got to pace myself, <laughs> right? Then with 30 seconds remaining, now you're down to 30 seconds, you start to lose form. You get hot. You, you sweat. Your heart rate is for sure up at that point. You start to question your attendance and participation at all. And then somebody else, be it your coach, be it Russ, be it another participant in the class, whispers to you and says, hey, you got this, right? That's what breathes life into you and gets you going. And you go, you know what? There's only 30 seconds left. I can make it through this. I can pull it off. And then you make it down to that final 10 seconds, right? That final 10 seconds, you become certain you can make it. In your head, you go, I got this. 10 seconds left, boom, 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 pushing it out, right? Whatever it is. And if you're on the bag, too, you're punching, you're punching. And sometimes that's like life. You're kicking and screaming and punching and clawing. And you got 10 seconds left to go. And the best part is usually at that point, there's others cheering you on. Even if it doesn't look how it intended when you started. Because you've lost total form at that point. It never, life never looks how you intended when you started. We all get that vision. We all think about how we're going to do, well, hey, I'm going to go knock this hour-long class out. Well, hey, I'm going to knock out this next 10 years. And let me tell you how business is going to look. Let me tell you how fired up I'm going to be. And by the time you get to the end of that year, that five years, 10 years, 15, whatever the time frame is, you look back, it almost never looks how it was intended. 
your life is exactly the same as this workout session on a, on a longer, larger, grander scale. It feels like a long ride, but when you look back, you take a moment to breathe it all in and you look back and you go, man, look at all of these minutes stacking up. Thank God I never gave up or you never gave up. So that is my message for today is I, I will tell you, I'm telling you, and I'm going to include a video of my, my 10 year old son at the end because he's been trying and trying and trying to get his kip. And about two weeks ago, he pulled it off and you can see the struggle. You can see the push. You can see that just muscle up. The key is at the point that he's got it, it's because he never gave up. And so I would encourage you the same thing. You have to try until. You have to persevere. And I, I will tell you the thing. If you're struggling to breathe that own fire, that own whisper into your own ear, then find a mentor, find a coach, find someone that will just light you up and tell you, hey, you've got this. Never give up. So that's my time for today. Again, Mike Phillips, you can tune in and uh, please subscribe. Check it out at leadtheteam.tv. Thank you so much for joining me for a few minutes. And again, tune in every Wednesday and Sunday for another episode of The Front.